down earlier today because of that incident. Good evening. I'm Sherry Jackson. I'm Jack Roy. Your classes have resumed as normal tonight. CBS 42's Robert Sherman has been on campus all day speaking with officials and students. He joins us now live with the latest. Robert, what have we learned? Well, Jack, this bus stop right over here was the epicenter of police activity, and it's just a stone's throw away from some of the academic buildings right here on campus. Lieutenant John Riley with the State Bureau of Investigation tells me that there's no longer an active threat here on campus. The lockdown has since been lifted, but that on campus officer involved shooting created quite the scare for some students. William Galloway is enrolled in a week long summer program at Jefferson State Community College and had just sat down in his first class when the unthinkable happened. It wasn't probably but 15 to 20 minutes before we heard gunshots outside and we all just kind of stopped in our tracks and uh, we said, what was that? The school went under a lockdown. Galloway and his classmates shut the blinds, locked the doors and prayed. I was very terrified. Yeah, nothing like this has ever happened to me, but it, I thought this is not the way I want it to end, and I just, just prayed, and I knew that I'm in, I'm in God's hands. Lieutenant John Riley with the Alabama State Bureau of Investigation tells us that an officer-involved shooting took place on campus just before 9 a.m. Wednesday morning after a man got off of a bus and became irate. The subject was threatening police officers with an edge weapon. Shots were fired. The individual was transported to a local trauma center for treatment. Lieutenant Riley adds that an officer was sent to the hospital as well after struggling with the suspect and receiving a minor arm injury. Hours later, the danger has subsided. Some normalcy has been reestablished, and students like Galloway are thankful to be safe. I had 15 texts from parents, friends, um, people in different classes from around the school. Everyone's just trying to say, hey, are you, are you safe? Are you okay? And we just want to know, we want everyone to know that we're safe. And um, Jeff State did a great job at, at protecting us. Lieutenant Riley tells me that they are still investigating this officer involved shooting, but at this time, they're still not certain of the motive behind this incident. Reporting live in Jefferson County, Robert Sherman, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Robert, thank you. And new tonight, we are learning.